16th and it's back day. So I'm going to do about four to five exercises and about working sets, maybe three to four, just depending on how I feel. So it's really about, you know, I got about eight weeks and five days until the IPB Dallas Pro in the year 2014. So let's do this. I'm going to start out my back with the lat pull down to the front. Now, with this in the grip, a lot of people grab it wide. I'm not as strong when I do it wide, so I'm going to do, see how the bar starts to bend sideways? I'm going to actually take my pinky, I'm going to start, I'm going to put it right here before it starts to bend. Because when it's in closer, it's actually a stronger position. And there was a controversy between people, I'm losing my voice, something happened to me last night. There's a controversy where people says, use grips, use wraps, and don't use wraps. I use wraps because I'm focused on taking the emphasis out of my hands, so I can just focus on doing the pull down. And um, so, I do that. I don't want to work my forearms, so I'm going to work on my grip. So now, as you can see where my pinky's at, it's right there, so this is a strong position. Now this is going to be my warm-up set, so I'm going to do about three to four warm-up sets since it's my first exercise. So I'm just going to come down here to the chest, lean back a little bit. I'm going to stop at the chin level. I'm not going to go all the way down. Because basically from the chin down, it brings a lot of biceps. So right here is basically back. So why do, you do, why do I do about three to four warm-up sets? Because the warmer muscle contracts harder than the cold muscle. As for breathing, you're supposed to breathe out on the exertion of the lift. So it means coming downwards. Breathe in, going up but I just breathed. I don't know how many that was, but that'd be my first warm-up set in the lap pull down. Okay, some of you guys are gonna be like, wait, Nick, you're standing up. I'm in a wheelchair and I can't do this. Well, I'm like a hybrid. I'm in the wheelchair and I'm not in the wheelchair. But if you can't reach it, say like, you know, oh, my arms are too short. Or if you're just a tiny, tiny person in general, what you do is you lift the base plate up. To get this bar down lower, just pull out the pin. Now there's no resistance. So then all you gotta do is take take this bar up. Now if you see, this bar is coming down. So as you can see, I'm sitting in the chair and I can reach it. So now all you gotta do is put the pin in. Now you can lift the weight sitting at whatever level. So using the wheelchair as an excuse. It's just an excuse. It's a mindset. It's about if you're in a situation, you just think outside the box and make it work. Just make it work. Now, in the gist of doing all my warm-up sets, I sort of feel in the back of my right tricep. It's kind of like tender. I don't know what it is, but it feels like it could pull or I could damage it. But, so, how do you, how am I gonna like adjust the body to that? Basically, I'm just gonna go not as heavy, so I'm gonna go about 200 pounds for my first set, so. It's pulling, so. At any time, if I feel it like gonna pull or hurt, I'm gonna start right then or then, whenever I do my set, so. I'm just gonna wing it. The goal here is to do a good back workout without getting injured.
The next exercise I'm going to do is behind the neck pull downs. Now some people says don't do this, but this is one of my favorite back exercises. Now do you see how it curves down? Whereas I stop with the pinky right here. Behind the neck, I'm actually going to have my index finger, this pointer finger, right where it starts to come down. Not all the way wide, not like down here where people do, because I'm still stronger here. Now a little trick I do, in front, I put my thumbs around. Behind the neck, I put my thumbs over. It seems to open up my back more. And I like the feel. It's more of a feel, and this is what I prefer. Alright, now, whenever I do this, as I get ready for position, I'm going to stop at ear level, or a little bit above my ears. Going down all the way can actually hurt you. So, here we go. This is on 200, for set number one. It's actually where your hands are. Not where the bar is, but my hands at ear level. When I do this, when I pull down, I'm focused on driving down with the elbow, not just pulling it down. I'm really concentrating on my back and that elbow driving down. That's how I roll. On two. out for my third set for the full sack. So you had 250 on there. And this is actually me training for my next IBB Pro Show. So this isn't just like regular training, but this is about me getting ready for a contest or the highest level that you can achieve in the bodybuilding industry. So here we go. I don't weigh 250, so I gotta like Superman, He-Man jump this thing. Even get off the ground. because a lot of trainers like preach about full range of motion and all this stuff but even for a bench press they'll tell you to go down and all the way up like this and if you do that just by bench press you actually dislocate your shoulder out of proper alignment which actually keep it back so there's a lot of techniques but there's a lot of loopholes with the whole training stuff and it takes years to understand and actually adjust to make it work for you so some of you guys can criticize all, all you want judge me how you want but this is how I do things, and this is my blueprint. So if you don't like it, I don't really care. So, off to the next exercise. Now the next exercise I'm gonna do is a machine row. Now rowing's just this. You got cables, barbells, machines. You can do like whatever you call it. As long as this motion, motion from front to back or down to up, that's it. 
that's actually a rock. So I'm going to do this for three sets or maybe four, it just depends. But this is going to be my first working set on here. So I do a lot of vertical stuff, make a lot of pull downs from the top, and then I mix it up with a lot of like lateral movements from the front to back, so the rows. So pull downs and rows, and mix them up. So there's a overhand grip, which is like this, and an underhand grip. Works the back completely different. But when you have the under grip, you gotta be careful not to pull with too much bicep and concentrate with pulling, pulling back with the back, the elbows. So, I'm gonna get alignment here. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna keep my legs behind me. So I'm gonna put my boobies in the chest right there to lock myself in a position. Reach it. Get it. Oh. Biggest tips as an athlete, bodybuilder, fitness, or just people in general is actually posture. Now, as you see, when I, whenever you watch me, my posture is keeping my shoulders back. I do not sit crunched like this. I don't rest like this. And you see, this just looks stupid. And you look like a punch. As you can see, but this is not supposed to be hard. For actually, posture. Bring, bring your shoulder blades back and your chest up. See how it brings the shoulder blades back, and you look more full, just in general. So I taught myself to keep this posture like this, and I keep my spine up straight. Even people with spinal cord injuries that have rods, they hunch. See? Now, think about it. If I'm doing this for year after year, wouldn't you think that you're going to develop differently than like this? Your chest opens up more versus this, where it's caved in. And you look totally like an awkward position, but that's how people see it, because they don't think about it. So you constantly gotta bring your shoulder blades back and align yourself. So whenever you do this into the next working set, you're in this machine, I'm in proper alignment already. See like so. So when I get ready to do this, I'm gonna relax out of proper alignment and go back into proper alignment. A little motivation here, and you'll see how it all comes together. And again, we'll focus on the elbows. Relax, climb. I don't use wrist wraps. For some reason, I don't like using it. And it just, I can't get a very good grip, so I just don't use it anyway. But if you can find something, have at it. And on, for some reason, for this exercise alone, I, I got a really strong grip. So I feel like I got like a, a gorilla grip, so I don't really feel like I need it. So maybe it's just that I'm not going happy. See that monkey grip? That is that. The King Kong. The King Kong, man. Huh. <laughs> I gotta focus. <laughs> Let's do this. Cable rolls, look at my next exercise. I'm gonna use the wrist wraps because 
like the machine underhand, I feel more secure having the wrist straps to get a grip, a tighter grip, so I can concentrate more on my back. Again, it goes by preference and stuff like that. But at the same time, you want to make sure you're not neglecting the muscle that you're trying to work. Say like here, yeah, this is a back. Don't be like, oh, I got to try to get bigger forearms, so I'll do it without. I'm not to I'm not working on my forearms. But that's forearm day. So this specifically take all the emphasis out of the grip, take all the emphasis out of the forearms, and con completely concentrate on the back. And that's why the point is using the wrist wraps. Now with this, you just want to keep the elbows to your side. Now, when people say keep it all the way to your side, just keep it a natural, wherever it feels comfortable. But the key here is you want to drive backwards with the elbows. You want to feel like the elbows is you're going to hit backwards. And that's the key on this exercise to contract the back, the mold, the fullest. Now some people will go right here and just do this. Now, the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do a full range. I'm gonna get a little bit of stretch, squeeze back. Down, back. And that's how Arnold, a lot of times you saw Arnold Schwarzenegger doing it. So, you know, because it, it works a totally different part of the back when you, you go lunch over more. Because going from here to here brings in the lower back and sit up con completely. Now it's not leaving back like like the matrix, but it's a straight vertical, even back a little bit. Leaning too back is going to rotate too much in a totally different part of the back, like even to the traps, because then you're going into like a, a, a stride. You're going to be going like this. So it's a bent, contract. Watch the magic happen. How many reps? Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe 12, maybe 15, we'll see. With these, sometimes I put the thumbs around, sometimes I put the thumbs over. It just depends on how I feel that specific time. even doing the hands. It's more of a contraction. Alright, now when you put your feet here, you want to put it about shoulder width apart, but like say like about so, but since I'm in the chair and stuff and I can't feel nothing, I put my feet a little bit closer because my knees will buckle in. And it's really about just making it work for you. And if you can't, if you can't Use your legs, you sit You sit in the chair, and you just extend this a little bit, or you use a different machine and do it one arm at a time. And what it is, is just you make it work for you. And regardless of your chair or not, or you worry about what weight to use, or if you're just starting out, who cares? Just do your own thing, live your own life, and don't let others' judgment upon you reflect what you're gonna do with your life, because it's really about your life and don't let someone's opinion of you become your reality. Because when you do that, you become a slave to other people's opinions and you're not living your life. Because then you worry about what others think that you're not good enough, you know, then you make adjustments to your life to go by their way of thinking. So the reality is the hell with other people and just live your life regardless what your situation is. As you can see, I, I wear braces like Robocop. And I'm losing my voice, but the reality is, just do it. Amen. I'm going to do my set with my, with my robo legs. What would Yoda say? <laughs> Star Wars, like, 55 is coming out. <laughs> and, you know, it's going to let me lie. All right, bumped it up Round three. 